Two weeks after the controversial comments by a now suspended BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma on Prophet Muhammad, uh, violence and protests are continuing across states like UP, Jharkhand and West Bengal. They continued on Saturday as well with demands that she be arrested. Chief Minister Yogi Dityanath has called for stringent action against miscreants. He says it should be such that it sets an example for all anti-social elements. So you have bulldozers out in Uttar Pradesh again. They've already been used in Kanpur and Saharan to demolish houses of those accused. The controversy over remarks against Prophet Muhammad by an ex-BJP spokesperson refuses to die down. Protesters clashed with cops for the second straight day in West Bengal's Havra. The Bengal police issued this appeal on social media saying internet had been suspended in Havra till Monday morning and gatherings prohibited. 414 kilometers away in Jharkhand's capital Ranchi, there is heavy police presence after Friday's clashes at a prominent intersection that left two dead and several injured. According to doctors, 22 people were injured, including 12 policemen. Gatherings have been prohibited across most parts of the city. हम फिलहाल रांची के मेन रोड इलाके में हैं ये वही इलाका है जहां पर सबसे ज्यादा हिंसा की वारदात हुई थी यहीं से प्रोसेसन निकाला गया था यहां पर आप देखेंगे यहां पर पुलिस थाना भी है और लोगों का कहना है कि प्रशासन तो मुस्तैद था और ये जो गलियां हैं इन गलियों से काफी बड़ी संख्या में लोग आए थे और उन्होंने निकलकर जो है काफी जमकर पथराव किया क्या आप प्रिपेयर्ड थे Yes, of course, हम प्रिपेयर थे इसीलिए जो बहुत भी घटना घट सकती थी उसको हमने संभाला ड्रोन कैमरे से मॉनिटरिंग की जा रही थी दिया सम स्टेप टेकन ताकि हम लोग एक बहुत दिवस परिस्थिति को संभाल पाए अदरवाइज संभव नहीं था आज हम यहाँ खड़े हो पाते इन उत्तर प्रदेश मल्टीपल सिटीज सो टेंशन एंड वायलेंस ऑन फ्राइडे थिंग्स आर नाउ बैक टू नॉर्मल बट अमेड हैवी सिक्योरिटी कवर in a statement the UP police said over 200 people had been arrested across UP so far in prayagraj there were hours of clashes stone pelting and tear gas in two localities the police claimed the mastermind was a local named javed khan who has now been arrested he was accused of allegedly orchestrating unrest in the city during the protests against the citizenship law the police claimed khan's daughter who studied in delhi was also involved और भी सारे मास्टरमाइंड हो सकते हैं लेकिन अधिकांश लोग बात नहीं माने और नाबालिग बच्चों को आगे करके कुछ खुराफाती अराजक तत्वों ने पुलिस और प्रशासन पे पथराव किया है 880 किलोमीटर अवे इन वेस्ट यूपी सहारनपुर 50 पीपल है वायलेंस द पुलिस क्लेम द प्रोटेस्ट वन नॉट स्पॉन्टेनियस बट प्री प्लान जिस प्रकार से भीड़ निकल के आई है आफ्टर फ्राइडे नमाज तो निश्चित ही लगता है कि कुछ लोगों ने इसमें प्लानिंग करी थी जिनको हम लोगों ने आइडेंटिफाई भी किया है इट मस्ट बी रिमेम्बर्ड एंड एम्फोसाइज दो दैट इन मेनी सेंसिटिव एरिया इन यूपी एंड एल्सवेयर द फ्राइडे प्रेयर पास ऑफ पीसफुली विदाउट एनी इंसिडेंट ऑफ वायलेंस ना वॉट एग्जैक्टली बिन स्ट्रॉन्ग इन प्रयागराज एंड रांची दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन दैट नीड स्विफ्ट आंसर फ्रॉम दी अथॉरिटीज विद हरिवंश शर्मा अशोक कुमार नितिन गुप्ता एंड आलोक पांडे हम अक्षय डोंगडे फाइन डी टीवी And if we talk about Prayagraj, which saw uh, the worst violence on Friday with stone pelting uh, and uh, clashes, 64 people have been arrested so far. Four minors detained. The police say they're taking stringent action against those who take law into their own hands, uh, pelt stones, and damage public property. In fact, an eviction notice has been posted outside the home of the main accused, and bulldozer action is expected, maybe even today. Uh, Javed Mohammad, the leader of the Welfare Party of India, and a prominent face during the anti-CA. protest has been named as a key conspirator by the up police so to talk more about this bulldozer action that we're seeing in uttar pradesh we now joined by sanjay hegde advocate supreme court and ashutosh shrivastav advocate of the supreme court and someone who supports uh, the bjp sanjay hegde first to you uh, what what are your comments on the kind of action we're seeing in uttar pradesh uh, just a few days after uh, the friday violence and the friday clashes and protests now bulldozers are out and uh, the up chief minister is saying that there should be such strict action that nobody dares to do this again well the up chief minister is entitled to bring back law and order but the fact is that it has to be according to the law to the best of my knowledge there is no provision in law which um, uh, allows for demolition of somebody's house or just because somebody happens to be staying in the house for demolition of that house 
it's a different thing altogether supposing there are a breach of municipal violation uh, building clause or whatever action under the municipal laws is entirely unconnected to connect any violations of municipal building laws with any other thing that the accused is alleged to have done simply does not stand to law logic or reason what is happening is the doctrine of collective punishment what is happening is that uh, bulldozers are be, uh, be sent saying that we will justify it later if the matter comes to court so there what is no what provision what recourse do law. people have in this situation because every time we are told uh, it's justified by the police saying that this was anyway found to be an illegal construction so it is in our radar anyway and now we've just gone ahead and done this the the recourse is obviously through the legal system and yes the legal system will take time but to say that we, we had it on our radar is is no use did you i earlier tell the tell the person that look this is beyond the municipal laws rectify it if after that did you then give him a notice of demolition was that notice was that notice of demolition challenged before the appropriate authority was it pending in the court anywhere if these factors were not were not there then just going ahead and bulldozing anything anyway is simply outside the pale of the law all right well uh, uh, let's uh, we are we're also joined by ali abbas kazmi uh, supports uh, the samajwadi party and former up police inspector but before we come to you sir ashutosh shrivastav your comments on this how can we justify this action uh see uh, obviously any government has the power to maintain the law and order in the state and uh, i do agree that the law and order has to be maintained uh, by following the process of law now uh, we know that in uh, up uh, there is a up gangsters act and uh, as per section 14 of the said act the district magistrate has the power to have the seizure of the properties which is believed to be uh, acquired by some uh, uh, you know uh, gangsters by uh, illegal means so that can be attached that can be seized now uh, there is a, you know up municipality uh, municipal uh, act also of 1959 uh, in which there are provisions for the demolition of illegal constructions obviously there are certain rules uh, mentioned and uh, procedures prescribed that needs to be followed that the notice is required to be served and, and accordingly after the notice period is over the government can demolish subject to that there is no stay order by any court and the person who has been sent notice who has been served notice has not gone to any court and has not been able to take any stay so in these kind of cases the demolition uh, can happen uh, legally and apart from that there are other acts also Uh, see the gangsters act has not been made now it is of 1986 the municipal corporation act of up is also of 1959 and the national securities act also is of 1980 so there are provisions mentioned in all these acts but yes i do agree that whatever the procedures which have been prescribed in all these acts needs to be followed and uh, Uh, it is believed that no, uh, the authorities should. You know, this is instant should... justice. It's like there's no need for courts even. Uh, and you know, the minute somebody uh, protests, and uh, there, in uh, Prayagraj, yes, there was violence, and in, in Kanpur as well. Uh, but immediately, a uh, punishment meted out in this manner. Uh, Ali Abbas Kazmi, your comments on this? Ma'am, we are the people who are the Samajwadi people who are the people of Bharat, and the Bharat's Samvidhan and the law that we have. का पालन जो है हम भारतीय संविधान के जो नियम है जो कानून है इस संदर्भ में वो उसका फॉलो करना बहुत जरूरी है देखिए इस तरह से आग से आग को अगर बुझाएंगे तो कैसे आप जो है आग पे काबू पाएंगे मेरा कहने का मतलब ये है कि अगर आप आइडेंटिफाई किए बगैर किसी के साथ इतनी बड़ी कार्रवाई कर देंगे तो उसका परिवार उसका जो है उसके लाइबल्स जो हैं उनका क्या होगा एक गलती एक आदमी कर रहा है उसकी सजा पूरा परिवार झेल रहा है ये कहाँ का कानून है 
ये तो ऐसा है कि जैसे आग से आग को बुझाया जाए तो इसमें मेरा कहने का यही अभिप्राय है कि जितना भी जो भी सजा भारतीय संविधान में इस तरह के जो है क्रिमिनल्स के लिए है वो उनको मिलनी चाहिए हम कभी क्रिमिनल्स को कभी क्रिमिनल्स के अगेंस्ट हम सजा देने के लिए जो है कभी उसके खिलाफ नहीं है लेकिन उसके लाइबल्स जो हैं उसके माँ बाप जो हैं उसके बच्चे हैं उनका उनका क्या कसूर है Right, the whole so, house is being destroyed, and today in Prayagraj as well, we believe action will be taken against the main accused. Uh, Sanjay Hegde, do you, you know, again, uh, do we expect the courts to step in? Uh, who, because it's very obvious to everyone and uh, those you know who who are in the legal system that this is patently illegal. This sort of instant uh, justice that's being given out. Well, the courts or instant punishment. If they are. if the courts have petitioned i would not uh, i would not venture to hazard a guess on what the sure. order would be but i do expect the courts would last under what provision of law what a, a, a when is the when is the when has the notice been given I, uh, is is this justified or the, is this grossly disproportionate even the even the asking of specific questions does put the administration on the right track all right and uh, also uh, uh, mr uh, abbas kazmi any uh, expectations that the opposition there in up will take up this matter hamara kehne ka sirf abhiprai ye hai ki is tarah ki naubat jo aayi hai masjidon mein chand hi masjidon mein jo jume ki namaz hoti hai ma'am और वो भी इस तरह की मस्जिदें हैं जिनसे हर वक्त एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का जो है संपर्क रहता है अगर इसे टाइमली जो है पेश इमाम या जो वहाँ के काजी थे उनसे अगर पहले से आप जो है वार्ता कर लेते शांति समिति की बैठकें कर लेते तो किसी की हिम्मत नहीं थी कि बैड एलिमेंट आके इस तरह से लेकिन शायद बहुत जगहों में एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वॉज इन टच विद दोज इन चार्ज एंड इट्स जस्ट इन अ फ्यू प्लेसेज फ्रेंकली वीव सीन प्रोटेस्ट इन मेनी सिटीज अक्रॉस इंडिया बट इट्स जस्ट इन फ्यू प्लेसेज दैट वीव सीन दिस वायलेंस और यू नो क्लैश ब्रेकिंग आउट एंड बट द क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ इज ऑफ दिस इंस्टेंट पनिशमेंट दैट इज बींग गिवन बाय द यू पी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन बाय द यू पी पुलिस वेल वी रन आउट ऑफ टाइम बट थैंक यू ऑल फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस ऑन द प्रोग्राम एंड टूडे एज वी सेट इट्स एक्सपेक्टेड दैट द बुलडोजर्स विल बी आउट in prayagraj